Hello and welcome to another Swift Old Playings. Alright Ben, you wanted more NES and here is another NES game. It is the New Zealand Story, originally an arcade game released by Taito in 1988. It was ported to the NES in 1989, although some, some versions of the game say 1991 for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Uh, <clears throat> the game was also released in North America as a Kiwi Craze and as you can probably see it is a platform game where you play as a wee Kiwi bird and that is New Zealand and various different uh, enemies as you can see and that's just how you die, which is not recommended. Managed to avoid it that time. This is one of the one of the few games from my brother's original NES collection from like back when he used to have a NES. But he doesn't care about such things anymore, so I guess it's my game now, unless he wants it back. Right. I think that might be a graphical glitch there due to emulation. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the actual game cartridge to death to work properly, which is kind of annoying. So I had to use emulators for this video. Oh shit. I didn't mean to shoot those flying things. I think you need that for this level. Yes. You just hold down A and it makes you go up. Oh, I shot at the bastard. Who are these teleporting teddy bears and their flying machines? Oh, neck yours. Nope, what am I doing? Ah, there we go. That was nearly a disaster. Oh, shit. Cut out in the spiky thing at the top there. This is how you screw up the game. Or just mess about. Yep. <clears throat> God. Right. I think the game was also ported to various other systems, and there was actually a newer version of the game which came out on the original DS can't remember which year that was I think it was 2005 or 7 or stuff like that but yeah as I said already you're basically playing as this guy who's like a, a wee kiwi bird and uh, save all your wee kiwi friends I think the enemy is some sort of uh, sea lion wasn't that I can't remember. I did do a wee bit of research before I started playing, but I've forgotten all that I was going to say. Fuck's sake, these enemies just keep reappearing, don't they? Quickly, up, up, up. Oh, it's a close one. Why is it stopping? Apparently you have to also press up. No. I like how he has a wee snorkel there when he goes in the water. You do get various upgrades to your weapon, as you can see, you get the arrows which you start off with. You also get a laser gun and uh, bombs. I don't like the bombs because like, they have really... It's like you can't throw very well. Oh, shit. I nearly got that laser gun. Which I think is probably the best. Game over. <clears throat> now you'd think game over, that would be the end of the game, but... If you start again, you start exactly where you left off. So it's kind of forgiven in that way. I'm not sh I wasn't sure why it did that, but then I thought about it and it's like, well maybe because it's it was originally an arcade game, so presumably when you got game over in the arcades, uh, you had to put more money in to continue playing. But of course this is a home port, so no need to worry about money.
quite annoying when he flashes. Stop flashing! Does that mean I'm invincible? Or is it just graphical glitches? It's hard to tell. I think you do get invincibility. Well, I didn't get hurt by that boomerang, so perhaps I was. <clears throat> I've forgotten which way I'm supposed to be going. Oh yeah, there's a big arrow there. Maybe I should uh, pay attention to that. And there's no uh, damage from falling from a great height. And we're on to the first boss, which is fairly easy. You just shoot him for a wee while, and then he comes and gobbles you up, as you'll see. Yep. And now, now you're actually inside the stomach. And when I was playing this, I had a few shit. I had a few test plays of this uh, before I started the game. Like, started recording, I mean. And uh, I got a sudden flashback from like, years ago. Must have been when my brother originally played this. Uh, that bit where you're inside the stomach, it just brings back ancient memories. Well, old ancient for me. But probably not for most people. I think you're supposed to just shoot at him and then eventually he cracks up. Told you it was easy. Now we're on to the second level. I wish the music changed. That music does get kind of annoying after a while. I suppose it's nice and upbeat for a little while, but yeah, it does start to get annoying. Can't remember how many levels there are. Or if they all look the same. This one looks pretty much the same as the uh, first level. Although I suppose uh, the block with faces on them are slightly different. Ah, oh, shit. Watch out for these. Right, that one doesn't fire. That one does. That one does. Avoid the bullets. Huh. I thought there'd be more. Yeah, it's a fairly decent uh, platforming game. I'm not sure if there's really any skill involved or memorization since uh, once you get game over you can just start exactly where you left off, but I suppose it's amusing all the same for a little while, at least. And where are we going? Oh, there. there is the other bird cage. I'm trying to remember if there's any more information that I was going to say. I'm sure I've probably forgotten something and I won't remember until I finish recording. But I think I've pretty much played as much as uh, shown you as much as I can. And you've just seen there one of those things that looks like a book. There's like a, a an attack that we. Like, Gets rid of all the enemies on screen. Oh yes, and I forgot about that. Uh, oh come on, I need one of the flying things. And I just jump, jumped onto one of the arrows. This was kind of silly. Alright, I think probably played enough and talked enough gibberish. That is the New Zealand story on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's alright. It's decent enough. Thank you for watching.